Good day viewers and the class. Welcome to Easy Learning Tutorial Class Physics, Wire Physics Tutorial Class. What I have for you today is this question on Wire. This is a question Wire asked on 2014, question number 4, part 1. You know, Wire question has a part 1 theory, part 2. As I said, I always explain. Part one in a theory question on physics in Wayek, each question here carries eight marks. Part two in that same that theory, each question there carries 15 marks. I always advise my students to go to part two in any way they are given a question to select at least two questions from part two and answer, then go back towards to part a and answer maybe three questions. If you be able to answer three questions correctly in part two, you have passed physics. So you are here to answer four questions in part B of the physics question theory and the five questions in part A. That in part A, the five question carries 88 marks, which gives you 40 marks, and part B carries 50 50 marks, which four questions carries 60 marks. Adding it together, give you 100 marks. So that's the reason why you don't just go to part A. Part A has a small, small question that will keep you and waste your time. So go to part B, answer two or three questions there. Immediately you have answered two or three questions in part B. Well, go back to part A. If you be able to achieve two or three questions, because part A question are always simple question that you can tackle. But part B is a strong question which you can be able to balance and answer at least three questions. That's my advice in physics because physics question they have a limited time which is 40 uh, one hour 45 minutes you are given to write the question the exam so please uh, when the exam are approaching properly i have to give you advice and i give you what to do both on the graph you are going to see our video in the clutter of graph on physics without touching equipment you are not going to see the equipment when you touch equipment you will get the reading but i'm going to show you how to what use the equipment to get the reading after that i will now show you how you can get the reading without even touching equipment they give you the question paper everything will be given to you the formula you will use to get the reading without touching the question paper will be given to you so you will look for that video we are producing that video the video you look for the practical phases practical phases is coming soon so now back to what we have here remember to subscribe subscription is free so that you'll be able to know what we are doing back to question we say a metallic bar 5 cm long has uniform cross-sectional area of 4.0 cm cube if the tension for if the tension force of 35 Kilo Newton produce an extension of 0.25 millimeter. Calculate the value of Young modulus. This question is on Hooke's law, Young modulus. So we go straight to our solution. It's a simple question, but there are some things, ingredients, why I put here, which we may fall in. We know the formula that the Young modulus, Young, Young, sir, modulus. Young modulus, which I may represent with y, young modulus is equal to stress, stress over what strain, strain. I get what I'm saying. Now. And this can be stated as this way: stress. Somebody's here. Stress divided by what strain? By strain. And this is same thing as equals to the same thing as what is strength stress is force over what area stress is force over area divided strain is extinction which we represent with e over what original lens are you getting that you remember that this strain has no units because extension is in meter Original length is a meter. Meter divide meter is a dimensionless. We we'll call it dimensionless. Strain is a dimensionless. You look at it. Meter. This is extension is measured in meter. Extension is a length, which is a meter. Length. Original length is also length in meter. Meter divide meter become nothing. 
and we'll call it what dimensionless in physics we we'll say dimensionless what quantity in physics coming over here stress is what force over area and the unit of what force is noted the unit of area is meter square therefore what your modulus take as its unit is the unit of what the unit of stress so your modulus and stress has the same unit which is what newton per meter square your modulus have a unit of what newton per meter square or we'll write it like this newton per meter so your modulus take the unit of what stress stress unit is newton per what meter square understood yeah back to what we are doing this will give me the young modulus young modulus will give me f over what a this man of invert multiplication i call l gives the original length original length o all over what e understood this is what i did this man remain where he is this man will invert multiplication with what occur you understand so i'm doing that i will have my young modulus you know that i use y to represent my young modulus i will not be writing it i've written it here young modulus i open bracket put y mean that i have used y to notify that represent my young modulus so now that's the young modulus equals to this and that will give me f l o all over what a e are you getting what i'm saying now then we are where that shows me okay let me put it here y equals to what f l o all over what a e extension that's young modulus i'm going to look at the data they gave me i want to say where what they give me there they give me that what extension e is equals to what 0 0.25 millimeter that's what they gave me here are you going to say that but the units of your modulus is what? Norton per meter. But what they give me as extension is millimeter. Will I use it in this calculation? No! I will not use it. If I use it, that means I'm mixing up. I have to convert this millimeter to meter because the unit of your modulus is what? In meter. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will not say this. You cost to what? I will say what? 0 0.25. I will divide by what? 1000. When I divide 0 0.25 millimeter by 1000, it will give me meter. So when I do that, if I do this, it becomes what? Meter. Are you going to say that? And my answer becomes 0 0.000. Are you going to say that? 25 meter. That's what it's going to give me. Then now, I will answer it again. What again did they give me? I'm talking about what the uh, force. The force is given to me as what 35 kilo nothing. And what's the kilo? Kilo start by what 1,000. Kilo mean what 1,000. This kilo mean what 1,000. I get on saying that 1,000 nothing, and that will give me what 35 zero zero nothing. Then what again did they give me? They give me again my area. Area is given to me as what? What they give me area? Area was given to me as what? 4.0 cm square. Look at it. Look at it. 4.0 cm square. Hey, this is a problem. And I know that the unit of your modulus is what? Meter. So I can use centimeter. Is a mixed up. I can't use centimeter here. So my area has to be converted to meter square, not centimeter square. So to convert it to meter square, I will do what? 4 divide by what? 100. You know that 100 is what you use to convert a centimeter to meter. Then because it's square, I have to what? Square it. Are we the here? Are you getting what I'm talking about? If I want to convert a value, this 4 now, maybe as me, I have 4 meter, centimeter. I want to convert it to meter. What will I do? I will divide it by 100. That means this will give me what? Meter. But in this case, it's what? Square. Therefore, I have to square it. Are you getting 
I'm killing it to square. I have to square it. But if I'm just converting to four centimeter to what meter, ordinary meter, I have divided by 100. But right now, it's square, means 100, I have to square it. Then now, I have to have this four divided by 1000 uh, into four, and that will give me 0. 0.0. Uh, zero zero four meter squared. I've turned this to meter squared. I think you are following what I'm doing. I think you get it right there. So now I have to move again to meter. What again did they give me again? I needed my original length. What is my original length? They said metallic is what 50. My LO is what 50 cm. Look at it. A metallic bar of 50 cm long which is the original leg, has uniform cross-sectional area of this original length area is this. If the X takes, uh, takes to tensile force of 35 kilo newton produce an extension of this on the same this map, that means the original length 50 and 50 cm. I cannot leave it this way. I have to say 50 divided by 100 and that give me what meter and that give me what zero point what five what meter then now that's when i would say young would lose young would lose equals to force l o all over l e area e i'm going to substitute my value which is what three five zero 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 times my original length zero point five Divide by my area, which is there, my area, which is equal to 0 0.0004 times my extension. My extension was given to me as what 0 0.00025. You remember, look at my extension, look at my what area, which we have converted. Look at my area, look at my extension. So now, dividing or applying this with your calculator. Multiplying this with your calculator, we are going to have uh, 1.75 times 10 raised to the power 11. Nothing per meter. If I didn't put this unit, I got this in zero, even though I got the answer. If I didn't put this unit, remember? If I didn't put this unit, this answer becomes zero, even though I got the real value, but the unit is not there. It will give you what zero the market scheme. I will show you the market scheme when we start the practical. When we start to do the practical, I have to show you the market, the work market scheme. We are going to read it together. I will present it in this board. We will read it together. You see how work mark both the practical and theory. So if you don't put this unit, what it means that you are calling this young modulus a bastard that doesn't have name. I you what I'm saying that because this what's defining this what tells somebody that this is a young modulus, not the magnitude. You just write the magnitude. So you are calling young modulus bastard if you don't put his unit. And the way we are marking it, it will mark it bad for you, even though you get the answer, but you didn't put his unit. That's why you have to note each of parameter in phase, their unit. And the one that is dimensionless, the one that doesn't have unit, you have to know it. I'm coming to that. The next video, we'll see how we we'll drive units. I think I'm saying that. We'll see how we we'll drive the units. So, is a taboo, is a taboo in physics for you to state something that has unit without unit attached to it. You automatically you have it zero because you are really telling me that thing is a bastard. Just like when we said um, strain, strain is a dimensionless. Automatically, we know it from origin that is the dimensionless. It has no dimension, it has no unit. Because meter is length, meter is extension. Meter divided meter, it gives me what? Dimensionless. So if I state it, give its value without unit, that means I'm correct. Is a bastard human being. But this map, which is John Modulus, has a unit. And after I saw it, I couldn't be able to put his unit. What I'm tagging him is a what? Bastard. And when we are marking it, we mark it back. So note it. Remember to put unit in each of questions given to you in physics that you solve that supposed to have unit. Put unit in it. Thank you for watching this video. 
and thank you for subscribing. I know that you share this video to your friends and you comment. Comment on this video. Comment. Comment. Your comment helps us to know whether we are doing well or not. And also share this video to your friends, to your colleagues in school to learn more about this. See you in the next video. Thank you.